sharing that. Oh, let me add, uh, before we before we get off the topic though, let me hip you to something that's happening over here. Okay. They're, they're still pondering whether they're going to pick up Chase Young's fifth year option, bro. So Really? I would say as of today, April 4th, Montez Sweat is in the lead to get the contract extension because while Chase Young has the upside, he doesn't have the production and he looks like a diminished version athletically of himself. This is a huge year for Chase Young. Chase Young has to perform this year or like it it may be curtains for the boy. Like I love the idea of Chase Young. I want him to be special. We're now in year four of Chase Young, and the man does not have a pass rush plan or a pass rush move at this point of his career, and Montez Sweat is the more consistent player. I didn't want it to be this way, but that's the way it's turned out. They're still pondering. They have about a month left to decide whether they're picking up his fifth-year option. They got to pick it up because it's $17 million, and you got to at least have him play out his first-round contract. But the fact that it's a thought process, and Ron's like, uh, we'll let the new owners come in and decide whether they want to do with that. That tells you a lot about what they think he has left in the tank and how he fits into the long-term plans here. Bro, did you just drop a bombshell on my show right now? Wait a minute. They're, yeah. they're thinking the number two overall pick, Chase the Predator Young. They're thinking Bro, about he... picking up his – now. He ain't been as advertised, bro. I'm going to keep it a whole hundred thousand I, with you. I mean, I, I, I get that. I get that. But like, you got to pick up the option, though. Yeah, you, you got to pick up the option. But what if, and I, I think it would be a, a really, really bad move mm-hmm. for new ownership to come in and not mm-hmm. pick up that fifth year option? Um, they will. But, but what, but let's, let's just, let's play devil's advocate. What if they come in? And they want to establish a whole new culture. And part of establishing that whole new culture is to make this team, you got to earn it. Oh, and I'm if with- what they're getting from the coaching staff and what they're seeing from his tape, his film, his numbers, his production, the injury that he sustained, if all of that collectively says he hasn't earned it, what if they say, we're not going to pick it up. We appreciate your time here. Maybe if you, you know, you perform well, we'll give you a, a another contract, maybe a, a another one year prove it deal for you to then maybe go earn it, you know, and get that big bag. But what if they say we're not picking up the fifth year option? Like, how do you think that'll play with the fan base? I think the fan base are going to, there's going to lose their mind because a lot of them still, have the blinders and the burgundy coated lenses on when it comes to Chase Young. I mean, they lose their mind when we cut guys like Kelvin Harmon, who didn't even sniff an NFL roster in 2022. So they'll definitely flip shit when we do that with Chase Young. But the objective part of the fan base that actually pay attention, the ones with boots on the ground out at training camp, the ones who know, no, he ain't been as advertised yet. Yes, he got hurt. Like, you're a 49ers fan. You know who also tore their ACL? Nick Bosa. Mm-hmm. You know what he's done after? Be great. Be 18 and a half. Phenomenal. Defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. They don't mention that the 10 games before his ACL tear, he had one and a half sacks. He has mm. he's his game is he's a really he's an elite run defender with a high motor, but he's invisible on passing down. And I hate to say this, but it, 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 he doesn't have a pass rush plan yet. He doesn't. He just be running around. He's be running around vibing on the field with infectious energy, man. But this is the prove it year for Chase Young. If he becomes what he's supposed to right in this year, he gets an extension and sweats probably the guy on the outs. But Oh, and shout out to my guy Scotty down there. Woodbridge represents 703. That's hey, my let's drop, let's drop this right now. Hey, Scotty's in the building. Listen, man, we appreciate you for tuning into the show. He my says, boy. What's up, Rio? What's up, Mose? Man, what's going on, Scotty? Glad to have you. Thank you for tuning in, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my guy 703 in the building. But yeah, man, Chase, please show me something. I think he's trending towards Jadavian Clowney territory, though, which is a solid NFL player, but not 
nearly what he was supposed to be as an athletic freak coming in. I don't like to hear that, man. I like you. I had high hopes for Chase Young I don't like coming you. out of Ohio State. <laughs> you know, they had back to back edge rushers go number two overall in the NFL draft. Mm-hmm. Like he was so he was supposed to be that guy. But from your standpoint, saying he doesn't have a pass rush plan. For for those who may be tuning in or who may be watching the, the playback, just give them a, a little bit more insight as to what you mean. I know what you mean as somebody who's played defensive line, mm-hmm. but give them just a little bit more in-depth of what you mean by him not having a pass rush plan. In layman's terms, he kind of just be out there running around when the quarterback drops. Like when you're, when you play at the math Catholic out in DC and then you play at Ohio state, you're this Greek God built guy. You can just out athlete everybody because no one on the field is athletic as you. Fast forward, you're in the NFL. These tackles can run and move like skill players, like receivers and running backs. And they also know how to use their hands. They're technicians. That running by stuff is not going to work on a Trent Williams. I know that guy very well, man. That's a the day he retires, you might as well pre-order the gold jacket because he's different. It's not going to work in the league. And when you watched him at Ohio State, the one tackle that didn't allow him to do what he did versus everybody else was Rashawn Slater, and that's kind of been what he's be- – I've seen Chase Young have a pass rush plan one time. It was in a preseason game the year he got hurt versus Cam Newton and the Patriots. He put on a move, used his hands, got to Cam Newton. He doesn't use his hands well. It's kind of just I'm going to get past you or get through you or you got it, fam. And I see significantly lesser – athletic players find their ways to the quarterback. Montez Sweat's thing is he gets to the quarterback as well as any edge in the league. He has a problem finishing. He doesn't always finish when he gets to him, but he's given us the seven to nine sacks a season, which is very good. And he's also an elite rush defender and he's up there in pressures every season. I need Chase Young to be held at the standard of the second overall pick in the draft. I understand he got hurt, and it was a bad injury. The patella graft, he had to take some of his patella tendon from the other knee to put it in the ACL tear. It's not a normal ACL tear, but there are no excuses for 9-9, the Predator, in 2023. It's time for us to see it, or we're never going to. 